Okay, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to remove a strong glare from the outside of the crystal on this watch. The first thing I want to do is duplicate my background layer. So I'm just going to drag it down onto the Create a New Layer icon. And now I'm going to make a selection of the glare area. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool and click a couple times to zoom up so we can see what we're doing a little better. And for this selection I'm going to use the magic wand tool. And I'm going to change my tolerance setting up in the options bar to 32. And now I'm just going to click on the area I want to select. And that selected a lot of the area but I want to add to my selection to get more, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and watch my cursor. You can see there's a little plus sign that appears. That means I'm going to add to my selection when I click next. So I'm still holding down the shift key and I'm just going to click a couple more areas. That actually looks pretty good. Let me see if I can get this area a little better. I'm going to hold down shift again and click. Okay. Get those. It's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. We can smooth that out. I'm going to go up to my select menu and choose feather. And I'm going to add a two pixel feather to this selection. Okay, now I want to create uh, levels adjustment layer. So I'll go down to the create a new adjustment layer icon, click on that and choose levels. Now in the levels adjustment window, I'm going to go to the output levels down at the bottom here and grab this white slider on the right and start to move that over to the left and you, you'll see that my selected area will get darker which is what we want maybe about there. I'm going to go up to my histogram. If I grab my mid-tone slider and drag it over to the right, my selection will get darker still. Let's go to about maybe about here. And now if I grab my shadow slider, it will make it even darker. So I'll slide that over till it looks good, maybe about there. And click the eyeball off and on. You can see we already made a significant improvement, but there's still some reflection showing up around here. To get rid of that, I'm going to use the burn tool. So I'll go over to your toolbox and you might have the dodge tool visible like I do here, but if you click on the dodge tool it will reveal the other nested tools under there and there you'll find the burn tool and we'll just see how that works if you need to adjust your brush size you can always do that with the left and right bracket keys but this size looks pretty good for me and now I'm gonna select my background copy layer so I'm just gonna go around on all these highlight areas in between and just click and drag to burn those a little darker. Just go all the way around the watch. Actually I think up in this area I'm going to leave it as it is because it looks like it could just be part of the watch face. I'll just burn this area a little bit more maybe down here some more. Now one other thing I want to do is I want to bring back some of the brightness of the numbers where I can, so the 12 and the 6, these 5 minute indicator marks on the watch face. So to do that I need to go back up to my levels layer and on my layer mask I'm going to paint with black to let those areas come back through so I have black in my foreground color. I'll just grab my paintbrush and trace around this number six. 
and you can see that that brings back some of the lightness of that number. And now for these five minute increment lines, I'm going to click once, hold my shift key down, and go to the other end of the line and click. And what that does is just brings back those areas again. Now I'm going to go around to all the other five minute increments and do the same thing. I'm going to start at one end, click, hold down my shift key, and click on the other end to brighten them up. These up here I don't think I need to do. This one I'll make darker. Now this one I'm going to start on the inside and then I'll just click up that way. And maybe I'll do the same here. So let's go back down to 100% view to get an idea of how, how this looks. We can do that by double clicking on the zoom tool. And now if I hold down the Option key and click on my background layer, we can see our before and after. So there's one way that you can get rid of the glare on a watch face or anything else you need to get rid of it on. It also works well for um, eyeglasses. My name's Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Go to my website and you can find a lot more useful information for Photoshop Elements. Until next time, take care.